Hey you guys, Peter Carlos here with your acting tip for the day. One of the most common questions I get asked all the time is how do you memorize lines? There's many different ways, there are no rules. I know people that can just read a script once and they got it memorized. One of the key things is a lot of people memorize them by rote. What I mean by that is they memorize like the first beat and the second beat, you know, three to five lines at a time. So then they cover the line and then they read the next group and then they add them together. That's okay if you're short on time. If you've got two days for an audition and you can't get out, then that's what you do. If you've got, you know, they gave you the script and you've got 24 hours, that's what you do. What's better is, and this stems from what Stella Adler used to say, the character does not know the lines, but they know what they're doing. Meaning, right now, let's assume the character comes home from work, and the line is, hey, let's go out and get something to eat. That's the line. Now, most people will memorize that line, so now I'm focused on saying my line, hey, let's go get something to eat. But if I think of the character who's coming home from work, they need to unwind. So now I'm focused on taking my bag down, unloading, you know, taking my jacket off, relaxing, and then I'm hungry because I feel it in my stomach. So then you memorize that you've got to get hungry now. It's time to eat. So now I look around the kitchen. I see there's nothing going on because in theory, if there was food, I'd look at the food first, try it, and then say, let's go out to eat. I don't want to eat. Or I'd eat in theory. It depends on the circumstances. But then when I look around and there's nothing to eat, then comes the line, hey, let's go out, grab a bite. It adds behavior. If you talk about, hey, I miss my good friend Peter, right? Did that, is there a photograph on your desk? Is there a bedside photograph on your bedside table? So you're looking at that person, you know, I miss that person. It gives me that behavior without me having to add it on later. So now I'm memorizing, come home from work, that's the action of the character, and it's time to eat. So then you look around for food, and then comes out the word. So I do that process of what could feed the line, what triggers that thought, as I'm memorizing the line. So I'm not just memorizing them cold off the page. Because if you do that, your brain remembers page nine, that line, you literally visualize the lines. I want you to visualize what triggers the lines, a person, a behavior, something. And also you gotta learn the other person's lines, your cues. That is, there's many ways to do this. One is to have someone actually read them for you. So they say their lines, I say my line and I hear it. The other way to do it is for you to read the whole script. So you read the other character's line out loud and then don't read out your line loud, but in your mind, you're reading your line just to give you enough time to say your line. So I voice the other person's line. I, I'm quiet during my lines. I voice the other person's line. You can record this on your phone. So that when I play back, I hear my voice saying the other person's line, and then I add my lines in there. But the number one thing with all this is what triggers the line not just memorizing it. A lot of actors go, I gotta get my lines out to get them out the way. Yeah, but now your body's processed them like that. There's nothing behind it. And you see the actor, you hear the line, but you know there's nothing behind it. One big skills that amazing actors do, I've seen amazing actors on a film set, they literally go and plan things. So if they say, I miss my friend Peter, and then they say the food, they will plant a photograph of someone, they'll plant something there. So I look at that, I look at that, and it triggers out my lines. That's why they, they notoriously they, they say, you know, like Brando never mentioned, remembered his lines. He did remember them to some degree, but he was focused on the triggers. He was focused on what triggers those lines. That's such a whole other level of working, and most actors don't do it because they panic. And guess what? If you forget the line, but you're focused on the behavior and what your character needs, then in a sense, you can't forget your line. You just got home from work. You're still unwinding. I forgot the line. I'm hungry. I'll look around for food. I'll show behavior. If I'm only depending on the lines, I forget my lines. I don't know where to go. And actors literally freeze and they go, I don't know what to do. Well, what you should be doing is unwinding. What you should be doing is getting hungry and looking for food. That way, if you remember the line or forgot the line, it's kind of irrelevant because I see the behavior. That's a step up. And you can add that little skill, even if you've only got 24 hours, to learn your lines. What triggers the next thought? 
even if you do it for a split second, will see something in your behavior. Try that. It'll change the way you learn your lines. See you next time.